The air crackled with anticipation. It was palpable. Manchester United versus Liverpool. This wasn't just another match on the calendar. It was an event that transcended the sport itself. Fans from all corners of the globe tuned in, their hearts beating in unison with the rhythm of the game. The streets around Old Trafford were a sea of red, with supporters donning their team colors, singing anthems, and chanting slogans that echoed through the city. It's a fixture etched into the soul of English football, a clash of titans, a story of history, rivalry, and sheer passion. The history between these two clubs is rich and storied, filled with moments of triumph and heartbreak. From the legendary players who have graced the pitch to the unforgettable matches that have left fans on the edge of their seats, this rivalry is woven into the very fabric of the sport. Each encounter adds a new chapter to a saga that has been unfolding for over a century. This wasn't just a game, it was a battle for bragging rights, for supremacy, for the very heart of English football. The stakes were always high, with both teams vying for dominance, not just in the league standings, but in the hearts and minds of their supporters. Every match was a test of skill, strategy, and sheer willpower. The players knew that their performance on this day would be remembered for years to come, their names etched into the annals of football history. As the players strode onto the hallowed turf of Old Trafford, the roar of the crowd was deafening. The stadium, a cathedral of football, vibrated with the energy of thousands of fans, each one a part of this grand spectacle. The players could feel the weight of expectation on their shoulders, the hopes and dreams of their supporters resting on their every move. The atmosphere was electric, charged with the promise of what was to come. You could feel the electricity. It was a tangible force, coursing through the stands and onto the pitch. The fans, a sea of red and white, were united in their passion, their voices rising in a chorus of support. Every cheer, every chant, every wave of a scarf added to the crescendo, building to a fever pitch as the match began. This was more than just a game. It was a celebration of everything that makes football great. The weight of history pressed down. Each match between these two giants was a continuation of a legacy, a new chapter in a story that had been written over decades. The players were not just competing against each other. They were competing against the legends of the past, the moments that had defined this rivalry. The tension was palpable, every second filled with the potential for greatness or disaster. Every tackle, every pass, every goal would be scrutinized, analyzed, and etched into the folklore of this epic rivalry. The fans, the pundits, the players themselves would remember each moment, replaying it in their minds, discussing it in pubs and living rooms, writing it into the history books. This was football at its finest, a rivalry for the ages, a testament to the power of sport to inspire, to unite, and to create memories that last a lifetime. The whistle blew and the battle commenced. Manchester United, roared on by their home crowd, started brightly. Hope flickered in the eyes of the United faithful. Could this be their day? Then came the moment that sent the Liverpool fans into raptures. Alexander Arnold, their dynamic fullback, whipped in a free kick that curled past the outstretched arms of De Gea and into the net. The away end erupted, only for their joy to be cut short by the linesman's flag. Offside, a collective groan echoed around Old Trafford. It was a fleeting moment of relief for Manchester United. Liverpool, relentless and unforgiving, were in no mood for pleasantries. Luis Diaz, their Colombian maestro, had other ideas. Two defensive lapses, two moments of brilliance from Diaz, and just like that, Liverpool were two goals to the good. The first, a defensive mix-up, saw Diaz pounce on a loose ball and slot it past De Gea. The second, a moment of individual brilliance, a curling effort into the top corner that left De Gea with no chance. The first half drew to a close. The scoreline painted a grim picture for Manchester United. The air, once thick with anticipation, now hung heavy with despair. The Stratford end, normally a cauldron of noise, was silenced. The away end, a sea of red, was a stark contrast. Songs filled the air, their joy amplified by the home side's misery. The halftime whistle blew, a shrill sound that couldn't drown out the stark reality. Manchester United, the Red Devils, were staring down the barrel. Section 5. Collier's debut overshadowed, Salah twists the knife. The second half began with a glimmer of hope for Manchester United. 
Toby Collier, their Young Academy graduate, was handed his debut, a shining light in a bleak afternoon. But it was Liverpool who continued to dictate the tempo. Wave after wave of attacks crashed against the United defense. Then it happened. Salah, their Egyptian king, added a third. A swift counterattack, a trademark finish, and the game was put to bed. Section 6. Glimmers of Hope. Extinguished by Allison. Manchester United, to their credit, didn't crumble. They showed spirit, a flicker of defiance in the face of adversity. Xerxes, their young striker, saw a goal ruled out for offside. Rashford, their talisman, went close with a free kick, but it was too little, too late. Allison, Liverpool's impenetrable wall, stood firm. Every save felt like a dagger to the heart of Manchester United's hopes. Section 7. A day to forget, a mountain to climb. The final whistle blew, signaling the end of a match that would be etched in the memories of fans and players alike. A collective sigh of relief from Liverpool, a team that had fought tooth and nail to secure their victory. The fans erupted in joy, their cheers echoing through the stadium, a testament to their unwavering support. On the other side, a groan of despair from Manchester United. The fans who had traveled in hope now faced the harsh reality of defeat. Their faces painted a picture of heartbreak and frustration. It was a day to forget for the Red Devils. The players trudged off the pitch, their heads hanging low, each step heavy with the weight of their loss. The fans, too, began their somber journey home, the sting of defeat fresh in their minds, a day that served as a stark reminder of the gulf that had emerged between these two giants of English football. The contrast was clear, not just in the scoreline, but in the spirit and performance of the teams. The scoreline didn't flatter Liverpool. A commanding 3-0 victory was a true reflection of their dominance on the field. Each goal celebrated with fervor, each moment a step closer to their triumph. They were superior in every department. From defense to attack, Liverpool showcased a masterclass in football, their strategy and execution, leaving little room for Manchester United to breathe. Manchester United, outplayed and outclassed, found themselves chasing shadows. Their attempts to defend were futile, their mistakes costly. The gap in quality was evident, and it was a bitter pill to swallow. The players on the bench could only watch in despair, their expressions mirroring the disappointment of the fans. Hands on heads, they pondered what went wrong, each one knowing that the road to recovery would be long and arduous. The mountain, it seemed, had never looked steeper. For Manchester United, this was more than just a loss. It was a wake-up call. The journey ahead would require resilience, determination, and a complete overhaul to reclaim their former glory. The climb would be tough, but the spirit of football is about rising after every fall. Section 8. The Road Ahead, Reflection and Recovery For Manchester United, the international break couldn't come soon enough. A time for reflection, for regrouping, for Ten Hag to rally his troops. The defeat to Liverpool, while painful, could serve as a catalyst for change. For Liverpool, it was a statement victory, a marker laid down to their rivals. The title, it seemed, was theirs to lose. But the season is long and the Premier League is unforgiving. Complacency, they knew, would be their biggest enemy. Section 9. Key Statistics. A Statistical Snapshot. Possession Manchester United 42%, 58% Liverpool. Shots, Manchester United 8, 18 Liverpool. Shots on target, Manchester United 3, 9 Liverpool. Corners, Manchester United 4, 7 Liverpool. Fouls, Manchester United 12, 8 Liverpool. Section 10. Echoes of history, whispers of the future. This wasn't just a defeat, it was a reminder of Liverpool's recent dominance in this fixture. The rivalry between Manchester United and Liverpool is one of the most storied in football history a clash of titans that has spanned decades. Each match is more than just a game. It's a battle for pride, for honor, and for the legacy of two of England's most successful clubs. The ghosts of Anfield past, of Salah, Mane, and Firmino running riot, came back to haunt Old Trafford. These players, with their dazzling skills and relentless drive, have etched their names into the annals of Liverpool's history. Their performances in these high-stakes matches have often been the difference turning the tide in favor of the Reds. But within the despair, there was a glimmer of hope. The fans, ever loyal, stood by their team, their chants echoing through the stadium, a testament to their unwavering support. 
The players, though down, were not out. There was a determination in their eyes, a resolve